Hello, this is the Great Basin Prescribed Fire Briefing from Monday, April 22nd. Lots of prescribed burn projects uh, given by the Purple Circles going on all across the Great Basin from north to central to south, east to west. A little bit of natural fire activity in the yellow and red circles from recent fires. Um, dormant season in some areas, not unusual. See a couple of acres here and there. But we are in prime prescribed fire season. Uh, it's been bone dry across uh, much of the northern and western Great Basin. You see near zero precip here on the left and zero percent here um, on the panel on the right. Some spotty light precipitation across uh, eastern areas, but nothing of significance. Snowpack, again, um, we'll be discontinuing this map shortly, but looking really good across the higher terrain. Still lots of snow cover, uh, about 20 to 50 percent above normal in uh, the southern half of the geographic area, and near to slightly above of a slightly below normal as you head further north. Um, our fuel is starting to dry out just a little bit. Uh, this lightest blue shade is somewhere between 10 and 15 percent. Uh, more moist, obviously, as you head further north. Satellite imagery shows a uh, high pressure ridge building in across California and the, and the west coast. Uh, we have a kind of a zonal flow here with seasonable temperatures and patchy clouds, but no major storm systems for now. But we are watching this trough of low pressure off the west coast and it's deeper unusually cold low off the British Columbia coast dropping down out of the Gulf of Alaska these systems are expected to phase together into one big cold wet late season storm we'll see that on the the weather map so for later this afternoon there's a ridge of high pressure coming in we'll see some patchy clouds here in the green but nothing significant dry air coming in near seasonable temperatures Overall dispersion uh, looking really good in the white to even yellow shades. Um, relative humidity on the left side quite dry. Single digits down south, teens as you head further north. Winds a little breezy in the 10 to 20 uh, mile per hour range at the surface. So you see the areas in the um, greenish shades a lighter further north. Uh, same story in the transport winds. Uh, a little bit stronger um, on the northern edge and quite gusty across uh, the eastern Wasatch, the Uintas, western Wyoming. Vertical mixing several thousand feet above ground level, no issues there. On Tuesday, some more um, disturbances coming in these areas in the green. Could be a, a, a brief afternoon shower, uh, maybe an isolated thunderstorm in a few spots, but only about a 10% chance in those green areas, otherwise dry. Uh, still to see the storm system uh, gathering strength off the California coast and the other one further north. Again, no big changes on the ventilation index. Um, relative humidity looks still the same. Still those breezy winds uh, from the south across the southern part of the geographic area. We see those enhanced on the transport wind flow. Um, now on Wednesday, uh, you start to see uh, more moisture gathering off the west coast. Uh, you see the um, excellent overall dispersion. We'll start seeing cooler temperatures coming in. Again, those southerly winds uh, will be a mainstay. They'll continue. And again, low humidity down there near 10% in the south. Uh, teens further north starting to increase into the 20s across western and northern areas as that storm system approaches with a more humid air mass. Transport winds still quite gusty on the ridge tops in the, the uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour range. Excellent overall vertical mixing as you'd expect this time of year. Uh, next three days precipitation, just some spotty stuff here across the western Great Basin, some isolated to scattered showers, maybe a brief thunderstorm, nothing of major significance yet. But the storm system on by later in the week, Thursday, starts gathering strength. You see the darker green areas uh, from northern to central areas, excellent dispersion, but forming into a fairly large storm system. Uh, the models have been differing on this a little bit. The latest run uh, is starting to weaken it just a little bit. We'll see as we go into the weekend, we should see partial clearing, uh, but uh, other models are showing uh, a wetter pattern. So we'll see how that uh, plays out. Uh, this is precipitation um, from uh, Thursday night through Saturday night and you see covering just about all areas and the areas in the blue to light blue a half inch to over an inch of precipitation could even be about 6 to 12 inches of snow on the higher elevations above 8,000 feet 
uh, a good wet soak down elsewhere. So again, um, helping to moisten up our fuels or keep our live fuel moistures high, grow more finer fuels, all that stuff. And looks like we start drying out as we go into the end of the weekend into early next week. Our extended outlook, the 8 to 14 day, cooler than normal across western areas, near normal elsewhere, uh, near normal temperatures across the western Great Basin, but wetter than normal across eastern and northern areas. This concludes our briefing. Next one coming up this Wednesday. Have a great day.